Hello guys, welcome back with me again. My name is John Noya. I'm from our Sharon Christian School, Surabaya. I'm here going to present about sour soap wine fermented by yeast. Uh, in this case, I will do an experiment with sour soap um, in wine making. Let's get into it. First of all, this is my objective. First one, the taste of the wine produced by sour soap fruit and which is fermented by yeast. And also I will do a comparison with my friend's wine. Second one, its process of wine fermentation including the mechanism of anaerobic respiration step by step. There are so many fermentation species here. In this experiment, I'm gonna use alcoholic fermentation alcoholic fermentation is using uh, a complex biochemical which is yeast uh, that can help the sugars to convert to ethanol carbon dioxide and other metabolic byproducts to contribute all chemical composition and sensorial properties anaerobic respiration that is called alcoholic respir alcoholic fermentation it doesn't require us to allow the oxygen to enter will it produce a great amount of ATP and be tasty wine fermented this is my ingredients that I use for this experiment first one is sour soap fruit that is already been juice and the second one it's yeast, Fermipan brand. I bought juice with few sugars, no milk, no ice, enough water near my house without making it at home because I don't have a fruit blender at home. The tools that were used to happen the experiment well, the first one is glass bottle, 460 milli. And the second one, one meter plastic hose that the diameter one centimeter. The third one, enough clay to tighten the plus plastic hose in the bottle cap. And the last one is glass cup that is filled with a half of water. The glass cup is the place to release carbon dioxide made by yeast with the plastic hose connected this is the sample that i have made during the fermentation here uh, as we are looking that we know that the plastic hose it is connecting its other with cup and the bottle it it's closed by clay near in the bottle cap it's because of the oxygen cannot go inside the fermentation happen because if the oxygen enters to the bottle it will be changed into the aerobic respiration this is the organoleptic test for the parameter is on the color the taste flavor and the bubble my sour soap wine the first color is sweet sour white pulp and after the fermentation process the color changes into creamy white little clear and the Raphael's dragon fruit wine the first color is purple and then it changes into dark purple for the taste flavor and purple we can you can see individually on the note listed below then this is the bubbling sample as we can see on the video here
for my sour soap here I just got 90 milli of the result of the fermentation it's because of sour soap contains fewer water contents than the dragon's fruit mm. we can see the Raphael's dragon fruit uh, it contains more water than mine in conclusion both of them sour soap and dragon fruit are rich in sugar but the fruit that contains more sugar is sour soap the sour soap wine has more alcoholic taste than the dragon fruit because the fermentation process sour soap glucose contains much more logically that we can think it will produce more alcohol on it by the yeast personally sour soap wine fermented is tasty for me it produces a great amount of ATP2 because the glucose is much more than the dragon fruit this experiment shows also enough result for me as the wine is ready to drink thank you for listening me guys hope you enjoy for this video explanation about my experiment mm, i'm sorry if there is miswords that i have said before once again thank you